So to start off our tour of Deck 7 and all the facilities, we are in the Live Lounge. Now the Live Lounge is at the aft of the ship, which means the very back of the ship, just in case anybody was wondering. And um, inside the Live Lounge we have seen some fantastic acts over the last 10 to 11 days. And last night it was rock on. Boy oh boy, we saw them a couple of days ago with four of them. We were down to three last night unfortunately due to family issues. But it didn't matter at all. They still rocked the house. They were fantastic. This ship was rocking. And maybe they should have come up with a song from Guys and Dolls. Sit down, you're rocking the boat. But there was no sitting at the show last night. We were clapping, we were cheering, we were stamping our feet. We were up on our feet and we were dancing the night away here in the live lounge. So make sure you check it out. And I'll tell you what, if you do get a chance at any point on any of the ships, because they do tour all of the ships and some land venues uh, as well make sure you check out rock on we'll put some links down below for those guys and you'll probably see a couple of pictures up there as well and plenty of uh, videos from those fantastic four who were down to three the live lounge great venue for performing so whilst you're in the live lounge then oh also also i forgot to say when we were inside pulse one of the resident bands <laughs> amazing performing here on a regular basis nearly every single night of your adventure on the Pino Britannia but if you need the toilet when you're in the live lounge the nearest toilets are on your left hand side the far left hand side if you're exiting the venue or if you're going into the venue it's to the right hand side they've got the ladies and the gentlemen and like I said for those that do smoke just to the right hand side is a little area for smokers so they can come out of the live lounge if you need the toilets it's to the left and um, if you need a quick cigarette then it's for you guys out on the right hand side of the deck let's move on directly outside or just before you go into the live lounge once again the aft the back of the ship we have an indian restaurant called the sindhu now i'll be totally honest with you we didn't get to eat in there but if you did let us know what it's like we're going to do a quick walk around and have a look at all the decor but if you've eaten in the sindhu pop your comments down below was it good was it bad was it indifferent was it great value for man money it was lovely see there we go the young lady there telling us it was lovely when the next time you're on the Britannia and the next time we're on the Britannia then maybe Sindhu is going to be the first restaurant that we check out let's have a look inside very calm relaxing lighting inside the Sindhu not sure whether it's got a lot of Indian influence but nonetheless it does look uh, very classy dark wood which makes it feel very warm with the red and orange lighting seats of four of two and i'm sure there's probably a few tables of six as well it's got some lovely pictures up on the side a few ornamental pieces scattered around the restaurant it is only quite small by the looks of it i love the settee arrangement here isn't that nice set? So yeah, if there's, like, you could probably fit eight on there. Be a little bit compact, but you probably fit eight. But definitely a six table, that one. That would be quite comfortable, and I like the way that it's all, all set out because it makes it more interactive, more personal. And then you've got these little separate booths, maybe for a family of four, or you know, a couple of couples who have met or have known people before, known each other before, and they can come and uh, book again 
This one you have to pay for though. We'll have a quick look. If there's a menu on the side, we'll have a quick look at that. Um, but this is one of the paying restaurants. So that's the Sindhu on deck seven. Come and check it out for something a little bit different. So as you come out of the Sindhu restaurant, if that's where you've been this evening or this afternoon, um, the toilets are just to your left hand side heading towards the atrium. We haven't got to midship as yet, but it's not far away. Now if you carry on down, you may have seen on one of the other videos, the Oasis Spa. Wow, how stunning was that? And they've actually got a little store here, if that's what you want to call it, opposite the studio where they have a lot of the pre-talks about the shore excursions and also they have films on during the day. So come and see these young ladies, but don't forget the actual spa is just a couple of floors down just off the centre of the atrium and these beautiful ladies will be able to uh, assist you in all your requirements. Let's have a look what's on in the studio today. They try and keep the films up to date, very regular and today we've got James Bond, no time to die. I'm not going to give away the ending but you will be shocked if you haven't seen it yet. Um, starting off at noon we've got Marry Me, never heard of that one. No Way Home for Spider-Man, great film. Even got it on Blu-ray, fantastic. And if you like a bit of Disney, I think it's Disney. If not, it's gonna be Pixar, one of those. It's hot, let's hop to it. Let's have a quick look inside. Into the studio we go, and like I said, they have like the talks on the shore excursions, and they have, the films go on till around midnight, so the last one starts at around 10 o'clock, and it's quite a decent size. We have been in there before on one of the other videos, so if you haven't seen that one, please get over and check it out. Let's move on to the middle of the ship head down towards the atrium. Now the atrium is one of my favourite places because it is stunning, absolutely stunning. Um, we've got the screens there so you can check out even more short excursions and there's normally a young gentleman here so if you want flowers for that perfect person in your life this is the place to come and get them. Is he hiding behind the desk? No he's not down there but uh, I'm sure he's around so come up get your flowers have them delivered to the room and I do believe that they do weddings on him as well. How nice is that? I'm not sure about the prices. If you fancy tying the knot after meeting the princess or the prince of your dreams on board the P&O Britannia, then why not make it official and get married on here as well? And I do believe it's the captain that marries you. So as we approach the atrium, you've got the lifts, you've got the stairs to go up and go down. Now this little area here, this is for those that have done a fair few cruises or if you're thinking about doing one in the future, you'll get one of the best prices, if not the best prices, on board. So make sure you check that one out. Just off the atrium, next to the, the Java Bar and Cafe, you've got the Loyalty and Future Cruise Sales. The guys are very, very helpful indeed. We've seen them, we've had a good chat to them. More lifts just off the main atrium there. So, as we go out into the atrium on a deck seven, lots of private seating places. We've got the Java bar here. Now they don't only do alcoholic drinks, but they do all your Costa coffees, all that type of thing. Don't forget, if you go to the Costa coffee downstairs on a deck five, I do believe it is, then you'll get a free cake with your Costa coffee bargain. And I love the way that the Java set out. You've got the red chairs, you've got the red lighting, a little bit like lava, giving it that feel. So it's a nice place just to chill out and you can hear the music. You've got a piano down on deck five in the centre of the atrium. Sort of an evening, it's beautiful. You've got a lovely young lady down there singing her heart out while you sit up here and relax and enjoy the start to your evening. Four more night last night was beautiful. Everybody dressed to the nines looked spectacular. Love the decor here. Very nautical. All the way around. Okay, so making your way around the main atrium on deck seven. That, I'll tell you what, I don't know why. This is what, what I want to show the people this. This is one of my perfect pictures. Absolutely love it. It looks like a mask to me. What do you think? Does it look like a mask to you? So, um, any comments, tell me down below what you think that this picture looks like. It's a bit like those bat things that you get when you go see a psychologist or something like that, you know, the ink drawings, all that type of thing. But that definitely looks like a mask to me. And just to the right hand side, we won't go in there. This is where me and Sarah ate last night. And I tell you what, it was definitely the best meal that we've had on board here at the Glass House. Now, 
booking you can do about an hour before and then they'll contact you so you can book through the app um, but they do walk-ins as well which is exactly what we did last night and again while you're sat there having your meal you can hear the piano from down below and what a great way to spend your evening gazing into the person opposite's eyes so let's move on with our tour of deck seven so make sure it's great great value as well you check out the glass house over here we have the crystal room what is going on it looks like a dance class is about to begin in the crystal room on one of the videos you'll see what was it doing was it sat salsa i think yes. on one of the videos you'll see me having a, a terrible attempt at salsa that was in the crystal room and that is used right the way throughout the day looks like we've got a little bit of strictly ballroom going on in there practicing a few moves it's beautiful you can see why and how it's got its name of the crystal room they have quizzes in here they have bingo in here dance classes in here we actually won the musical uh, theater one which was fantastic and we got a free dinner that's why we went to the glass house because it was completely free but the, the prices there are very very reasonable indeed it's got a lovely little dance floor let's have a quick look down here and then um, people getting in a little bit of extra practice and as you can see there's a drum kit on the stage also let's move on shall we let's uh let's pop down this way let's skip across the dance floor a little bit of a shimmy here lovely okay and a place that we've been to every single night fantastic it can seat you can actually see how many was it Sarah? 900 900 people I would have said it was a lot lot more the headliners theatre they've had some fantastic acts they've had some good acts and they've had a couple of not so good acts but you'll see all of those reviews and all of those reviews like I've said on the videos before are all my personal opinion so it's down to you leave your comments tell me what you think so there we go, that's the Headliners Theatre and that is at the front of the ship um, and that is it for Deck 7. Let's go up to Deck 8 next I do believe. Fantastic. Travel, don't take 